right guys I wanted to give you and say uh, another look at this root tree that I have um, and explain to you what it is this is an old root this was the, the root of a tree it grew down like this and the the tree part was up here well when she got it for me I took it cleaned it up sanded it down sealed it and this is what I did with it because I just love how wicked it looked and it put me in the mind of an old real old oak tree that had been hit by lightning you can see the split in it but I just look at that does that not look cool and usually I put it out at like Halloween but I've decided instead of using it once a year I'm going to do something with it and I'm going to turn this little thing Asian and this video is probably going to be one to three different parts we'll have to wait and see but all right we're going to get started and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it all right first thing we're going to do is I need eight coffee filters two three four one two three four five six seven eight all right then we're going to take those and we're going to flatten them out try to get them as flat as you can get them And uh, I needed three items that I could use. And I picked this glass because the opening is four inches. Then I picked this little uh, yogurt cup. The top of it is three inches. Then I picked this old uh, pot lid. The, the circle on it is two inches. So... What we're going to do is we're going to put that on here. And we're going to take a pencil and draw around it. If I can get it to stay down. Can you see that? There's our four inch circle. Now, we're gonna go over to the side of that. Gotta keep these things straight. And then we're going to do our three inch circle. Alright, there's our uh, four and three. Now we're going to go over here. And we're going to do a two inch circle. Alright. And there we are. We got a four, hopefully you guys can see that. We got a four, a three, and a two. All right, now we're going to cut these out. If I can get them to stay together, all right. Now. We're going to start with the large ones. Now what I did was I took 
and I made my own little stencils out of cardboard and I made little different size petals I guess you'd call them and I made three different sizes and cut them out of cardboard because that way it'd be easier to do this all right so we're going to fold this circle in half this way in half hopefully you guys can see this because I'm sitting way down here away from the camera then we're going to fold it again like that then we're going to take our largest one and get these out of the way here and we're going to to draw around it I'm making it just a little bigger than what it is on the, the stencil part all right all right now we have that drawn now we want to cut that out this is a little bit tougher cutting Now, unfold them back out, and you should have something that looks like this. Then we're going to take and we're going to fold those a little bit right down each petal like that. Alright, I'm going to do the other two, and as soon as I get the other two done, we'll be right back. All right, so now we got all three of these done, three different sizes, and they should look like this. If I get out of camera, you'll have to forgive me. All right, so what you want to do is, is divide these into twos. So you should have four stacks of two in each one. Should have. All right. They're kind of hard to hang on to. All right, remember that we have three different sizes, and this is what your smallest size should look like. Then, I took a piece of wire, this is uh, flower making wire, or I, I don't really remember what you call it, but I cut it 18 inches long, and then I went 6 inches from the back and made a little bend in it right here. And now we're going to use a little thumbtack, and what we're going to do is take two of the pedals, and we're going to turn them where the leaves are opposite of each other, like this. Hopefully you guys can see this. Good Lord. I hate to keep jumping up and down looking. It should look like this. Alright. Then we're going to take a straight push pin. And we're going to make a hole right in the middle with the pen. Alright, then we're going to take the wire and we're going to run the wire through that hole or we're going to try to. Run the wire 
through it like that and you're you want to bring them all the way down to where your little uh, curved part is and hang on to them right there just make sure you well I need to bend that back and give it out of the way because that's just where I want to start but you want to make sure your leaves are opposite of each other there and don't get them messed up like I just did all right now we're going to take a uh, glue gun and we're going to put a little dot of glue right in the middle of it and we're going to close it in on it and kind of pinch it like that and that way it, it glues both of them together and to the wire just like that and then just kind of open them back up a little All right, now we're just going to keep doing this until we get them all on there, two at a time. And we get them all glued down. Now when you put your next ones on, you want to go down and you want to just leave like a, a pinch right in the middle here and leave that much space between your next flower petals that, that's all the room you're going to need dot of glue and pinch them and be careful that glue's hot Alright, then we just, we're just going to keep going until we get all of these on there. So I'll be back when I get them all on there and then I can show them to you. Alright, I've got the first strand done. Can you guys tell me what it looks like? Let me see if I can get, I don't know if you guys can see it against that white background. But can you tell what it looks like? It's not done yet. I got to make a whole bunch of these to get them finished up. I was just showing you guys so you could see if you could guess, you know, what what you guys think it is. There's all the pieces that I did and glued them all on the wire. Well, guys, I got three done so far. Can you guys tell yet what they are? Can you tell yet? I don't know if you guys can... Well, you should be able to see them. I have one more step to do with these. Well, actually, yeah, one more step. And then you guys should be able to figure out pretty easy what they are. Alright guys, I'm going to give it up for the night. It takes a long time to do these.